Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, um, E-mini futures daily chart. And, you know, what we've seen in the past couple of days is we, we've seen a move down as low as 18.04 quarter, which put in another nice bear market rally that came all the way back up to the nine-day simple moving average. Failed there, and the majority of yesterday was about, you know, that was into the draggy reaction. And, that I mean, the majority of, of that was... Um, a series of rally sells yesterday. Um, what we're seeing today is we're seeing another pop. This one is peaking above the nine-day uh, simple moving average. And um, this is probably the best the bulls have acted all week. You're seeing a little bit of a difference in the price action you're seeing actually some responsible higher lows and higher highs. Now, all it's really done at this point is go up to the weekly pivot at 1889.20, and it's been struggling there since 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So, you know, we've been we've been getting short against that. We love the weekly pivot, and, and you know, it, it, if it wants to be resistance, if it wants to be support, you know, it's always a good area to lean on. So what I will be interested in seeing is, is this more steady price action, going to be reflective of maybe a multi-day rally. I mean, all rallies are sells. The bears are in control of the tape. Let's establish that right now, okay? Um, but the bulls are due for a rally that has a little bit more legs than, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. What they've been doing all week long is doing these parabolic bear market rallies, which you can just come on in and just, just pick them right off. As long as you're patient, don't get in too early. Um, you got to be able to take a little bit of heat too. This week's been a, a difficult week for a lot of people to trade from the perspective of you've had to be a little bit anticipatory in that you've had to say, okay, well, this is a level that I like short, long, whatever you have to say to yourself, okay, well, I'm going to get in at this level. I've got a plan to do it. I'm probably going to be early, uh, but I don't want to be too early. I've got to hold this thing and then, you know, have it you know, go ahead and, and, and do what it needs to do. The reward for that has been, you know, 10, 20 handles and, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I mean, there are points this week where it's just gotten ridiculous. We put trades on in the room and it's like pff, plus 20. We'd love that. You know, you know, Christmas week, we couldn't, you know, you can't, you can't find 20 in a week. You're finding 20 in 10, 15 minutes. This will all change. We'll get back to, you know, a more normalized tape probably next week, certainly in a couple of weeks. You know, volatility comes and volatility goes. Yesterday was the first, you know, the, we came back, we re-engaged the lower band. Yesterday, we didn't even threaten it. So it seems that, you know, price wants to start to revert to the mean a little bit. Um, if the bulls can't do that next week, if they can't take out the high, say from uh, 1907 half, they'd like to take that out today. If they can't, then you're going to see you know, probably choppy action in the 1800 area. You're going to see 1900 establish itself as resistance and the market's going to decide that it wants to live in the 1800s. I don't think it wants to live in the 1700s. I think we got down here to 1804 and I think that got to be a little bit too scary and we, you know, we hopped out of that. So if, if we're destined to be in the 1700s, the market's not ready for that yet. The market certainly doesn't want to live above 2000. So the issue becomes, is this going to be a battle over 1900? Are we going to establish ourselves as a new baseline somewhere in the 1800 to 1900 area? Or is, is the baseline still going to be, you know, between 1900 and 2000? That remains to be seen. What we need to do is, if you've been having a really good week and a really good month, and a lot of people that, you know, in, in our room have, what I'm telling them today is, today is about protecting what you have. The rest of this month is about protecting what you have. Um... And if you had a really good start to 2016, you know, you, you want to finish the month with a really good start to 2016. If you're struggling, um, you know, find out why you're struggling, make some adjustments. And, um, you know, you can always check out the website, come check out the chat room. We would love to meet you and uh, we'd love to help you out. Uh, certainly don't trade alone. Uh, I, I've always said this, don't trade in a vacuum. Um, if, if not with us, do it somewhere, do it somewhere responsible, because trading by yourself, especially in volatile markets like this, you'll be making a lot more mistakes um, than you should, especially if you're a newer trader. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter, 
Check out the website. Check out the chat room. Have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe for all my friends here in the Northeast. We're getting ready to get slammed, I guess. It's, uh, you know, the first of many of this season's storms of the century. So we'll see how that, all that pans out. And once I dig out, I'll be back with another webcast on Monday. Trade and well, everybody.